Hi, now humans can see near infrared light with the help of this new lens that scientists made. It's a really interesting technology. I didn't even know this existed. Apparently there is this upconverting nanoparticles that absorbs one wavelength of light and turns it into another wavelength. It has been around for a while but with this new research they use this technology in a lens that you can just put into your eye and you can see near infrared light. Normally you cannot see these wavelengths. After around 700 nanometers of wavelength our eyes stop perceiving those photons. So scientists use these nanoparticles to convert specific wavelengths like 800 nanometers to the visible light like maybe color green or red or blue they used many colors here basically these nanoparticles work with specific wavelengths so they used many different type of nanoparticles so they covered 800 nanometers to 1600 nanometers also color coding each with different colors and now when you see these normally invisible lights you can perceive them as regular colors this also helps you differentiate between different wavelengths so this is normally not something you and me are going to use in our daily lives but this can be a good gadget for security purposes in airports or other places basically this is just just two lenses and in between them there is this nanoparticle layer. It is kind of a complicated process to make it. They have these laser patterns. They bake different chemicals on the lens and then stick these nanoparticles on them. Anyway they already tested these on humans by the way. They say those nanoparticles don't have any health issues for you and it is not an invasive operation. It is just a lens. And they also made glasses with it too. So for example if you look at a TV remote normally you wouldn't see it but now you can see its light flickering. What excites me about this is this is just static particles this doesn't need any electricity to run and if we can enhance it we can use this technology in anything like think about night vision if you could see all those wavelengths you would have more information about what you're seeing in night or at some point we can see any wavelength to detect even more devices for security purposes right now you can also detect other infrared sensors like camera sensors but of course it has its limitations if it didn't have it this would be huge news but this is just small news unfortunately basically there is no problem with its current state these wavelengths they are perfect you can see where the light is coming from there's no downsides to these wavelengths the problem is we need more wavelengths and it is kind of impossible to do that right now so the further you go in the wavelengths graph you will see that longer wavelengths have lower energies their photons have a thousand times or even million times lower energies than the visible light photons or these near infrared photons these nanoparticles have to be excited with high energy photons if you're not giving enough energy they are just not going to work so most devices use 2.4 gigahertz wavelength and it's a very low energy wavelength you are just not going to make it work with that one one current advantage is these nanoparticles are very small so they don't block visible light when you are using these glasses or lenses you can just see everything as normal there's just added information in your vision and since they are very small they can also be used in medical scanning like finding cancer cells if these particles are fused with other chemicals you can detect them when they go somewhere because they glow like in this study they used the mice it had two different cancer types and they successfully detected the cancer type they wanted. It's a very long research. If you want to read more, I'm going to leave the link down below. Basically, I didn't know this kind of technology existed. It is very different than what I thought was possible. Just looking through a lens and seeing it give you more information than there it is. I'm excited about the future of this technology. And I'm also a little bit sad about finding out there are big limitations to this. Anyway, I just thought this was interesting. If you liked it, please, <coughs> if you liked it, please subscribe. And thank you for listening.